Thank you so much for streaming our latest message from First Baptist Church. Here at FBC, our mission is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. We do that by thinking big, thinking small, thinking in, and thinking out. We hope that this message helps you as you continue to grow in your faith. If you would like to stay connected to FBC, you can visit our website at fbcloyd.ca, look us up on Facebook and Instagram, or download our free mobile app. Now here's the latest from FBC. Enjoy. Fall off that stage before I even get on. Whew. How's everybody doing? That was good worship, wasn't that? Yeah. Um, yeah, welcome to the Camp Update Sunday. We're going to have a great time this morning, as we have already started to have a great time. It will just only get better and continue to be good. Um, is there anybody here who hasn't heard of Pleasant View Bible Camp before? You're kind of new, you're not really sure. Has anybody, you don't have to put up your hand on this one. Is there anybody here that maybe hasn't really been there and doesn't really know where it is? Um, if that's the case, and maybe some of you have been there years ago to bring kids out to camp and you don't really remember maybe where it is, it's still at the same location, which is... 15 minutes north of Lloydminster. Go north of Lloyd to Sandy Beach, and just on the north side of Sandy Beach, you will find our camp. Pleasant View Bible Camp is a ministry here of First Baptist Church. And it has been at it has been our ministry for 63 years. 63 years this year, our camp has been a ministry here at the Yeah, that's that's awesome. Praise the Lord. He gave it to us 63 years ago by an, an amazing history, and, and it's just an honor and privilege that we can continue to serve God, and, and God uses Pleasant View Bible Camp in amazing, amazing ways, and we're going to find out some of those amazing ways. We're going to listen to some of the campers and some of the staff that have been to camp this summer. They're going to come up here on the stage, and they're going to talk to you more about what they've learned and what they have understand about camp. Um, Oh, by the way, my name is Kenton Giesbrecht. I've been the, the camp director out of Pleasant View for the last nine years, for those that didn't know. Um, so, yeah, just thought I should let you know who I am also. Um, another big aspect to camp ministry is how God uses the staff that come out. So a lot of our staff, let's backtrack a bit, a lot of our staff, as they were young, growing up, they came to Pleasant View Bible Camp for many years. And as a result of that, a lot of them gave their life to Christ as campers, and they grew in the Lord, and they continued to go on to Kids Quest and to, to get involved in youth group and youth leaders. And now we've also, they've, now they continue on to be amazing leaders at camp. So, and a lot of these a lot of these cabin leaders are first-generation believers also. Their families, not a whole lot of maybe followers of Christ, but they are steadfast and they love the Lord with all their heart. And we're going to hear some of those cabin leaders also this morning. Um, the reason I bring this up is kind of a, there's kind of two aspects that camp has done. Camp introduces Jesus Christ to many, many campers. And it also creates, and God uses his followers to be amazing leaders out of camp. And they continue to be really good leaders when it comes to other ministries here at the church. So that is awesome. And that's just a win. And that helps our church towards the mission that God has given us, and which is to lead people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. Um, I was reading this morning, and it just came to my mind as I was sitting over here to reread 1 John 5, verse 1 to 5. It says this, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and everyone who loves the Father loves his child as well. This is how we know that we love the children of God, by loving God and carrying out his commands. This 
is love for God to obey his commands, and his commands are not burdensome. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. That message is continually told to campers throughout the summer that you must believe that Jesus is the Son of God. And many, many kids start their faith journey at camp. And many, many kids this summer started their faith journey at camp. Hey, we have an exciting video that we want to show you right away just to kind of give you an idea of what all happened at camp this summer and just kind of give you a glimpse. So if you haven't been to camp for a while or if you were at camp and you'd like to see the review, review the, the memories of camp, start watching that video. Image of the unseen father, the beginning and the end, all is from him, to him, through him, all together, hell within, Christ the glorious one, Christ the father's son, Christ the glory of God, like the thunder Glory to God. That was good. And we got some lights. Cool. Um, our program director this summer again was Tori Baton. If she could come forward right now, that would be awesome. Let's give her a big round of applause. And the other, we have some campers that we want to invite up right now so they could come up. Let's give them a big round of applause. Come on up, campers. All right. When they have a seat, we're going to ask him a few questions. Good to go? All right. Good job, guys. Hey, can you guys, um, hey, how about you guys introduce yourself? That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. My name is Bryson Jewett. My name is Janessa Younghands. I'm Georgia Croker. I'm Dayton Hamill. All right. All right. First question here for Bryson. Um, Bryson, what was your favorite thing at camp? 
My favorite thing at camp was learning about God. My favorite thing at camp was chapel. My favorite thing about camp was hanging out with my cabin. The food. Yeah. The food. <laughs> all right, You're, guys. Oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Guys, that's awesome. So out of all the food that you guys had those weeks, what was your favorite food that you had? Probably the pancakes. The meatballs. The taco in a bag. The dinosaurs, otherwise known as chicken burgers. <laughs> Has anybody had taco in a bag? That is, that's super, yeah, right here, they have, way back there. Yeah, Tori, taco oh, yeah. in a bag. Oh, yeah, good it's stuff. Good. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's a pretty big deal there. <laughs> and especially to one of our, a couple of our camp speakers. Love oh, it. yes, yeah. Okay, okay, guys, so next question. What would you guys say is your favorite skill that you did at camp? Oh, this is a hard one. Um, I honestly think that's swimming. Swimming? Sick. Zipline? Cool. I liked swimming as well. I mean, if there was an eating skill, then <laughs> I'm going to have to say archery. <laughs> oh, boy. Awesome. That guy's going to be in I asked him after the first service, he's going to be in LIT in a couple of years. He goes, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, boy. I've got to re-question that. i got to rethink that one out, maybe. Um, no, you're awesome, dude. Okay, let's look at another question. Looking back, uh, what is one thing that you learned about God this summer? One thing I learned about God is that he's always there with you, no matter how hard things are. That he never stops loving you, no matter what you do. That you have to let Jesus clean up your heart. Um, that he always forgives, no matter what you do. Now, those are pretty cool answers. Everybody agree? Let's give them a big round of applause as they go back to their seats. Good job, you guys. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But guys, are you guys all planning on coming back to camp next year? Yeah. Okay, well, what you guys need to do is you guys need to remind your parents that you guys can register in January. Also, we want you guys to start thinking about friends or cousins or anything like that that you guys could bring out to camp, okay? So start thinking about that, too. Perfect. Thanks, Tori, for that reminder. That was a good one. All right. Now, camp, without campers, wouldn't work too well. But to have a whole bunch of campers and have no staff, eh, we need both. So we have staff that want to come up, and let's give them a big round of applause also. Okay, this is a, a very good representation of the type of staff that we have at camp. Um, the kind of, I almost say they're almost cookie cutter staff in a lot of ways, because they're all kind of alike, and they've got differences, but they love Jesus so much, and they're so passionate about the Lord, and about telling kids about Jesus, and they love on each other, and just care for each other, and care for these kids, so they're almost like they're no problem at all at camp, which is pretty fun. And pretty amazing. So, DJ, would you introduce yourself? We're going to get everybody to introduce themselves and tell us what you did at camp. Okay. I'm D DJ, and I, did, I was doing special teams this summer. Hi, my name is Ashley. I was a senior cabin leader, and I also helped lead the LAT program this summer. Hey, I'm Kyle, and I was in LIT. Um, and I was also a junior leader this year. I'm Carly, and I was a junior and co-cabin leader this summer. Okay, back to DJ. DJ, what is your what part of serving did you did you enjoy the most, and why? I enjoy doing special special teams because it's like doing behind the scenes stuff and getting everything prepared so camp can run, and that pretty much means like doing dishes, running tuck, your favorite thing, garbages. <laughs> Stuff like that, yeah. Oh, man, I want that guy back. Um, but DJ, what, um, what are some other, what's kind of like your thing that you didn't really like to do in special teams? Garbages. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought that might be the answer. 
Oh, man, that's a big, important job. Uh, Ashley? No, nope. where are we at? Kyle? Yeah. yeah. Kyle, um, what was your question? How do you better become, how did you better, how did you become a better leader at camp by coming out to camp this summer? Um, I don't really know because it's my first year. <laughs> and also, um, I don't really know. I just got to think. So you did LIT, right? Yeah. So what are some things that you learned in LIT this year that maybe stuck with you that maybe helped you in a cabin or maybe are going to help you coming into church here to serve also? Um, basically just like even though you may not love God, he has always loved you no matter what happened. And so then, yeah, you can use that to love on other people, right? Totally. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, man. Carly, where did you grow in your relationship with God the most this summer? Um, I think just trusting God in all areas of my life and just relying on Him. Um, I kind of was living in fear and just, like, um, wasn't trusting Him in that area. And I think that um, this summer that really just, um, I just kind of figured that out. And I was um, doing that with God, and I was able to step out of my comfort zone. And I could just really feel God's presence um, this summer especially. So, yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Um, Ashley, same question for you. Um, yeah, so I uh, think that I just grew the most in my relationship with God by bringing him into every decision that I was making. Um, because at the beginning of the summer, I realized that making decisions based on my own interests um, usually makes things turn out not as good as they could have. And so I started praying that God would actually take away my own desires and give me his so that I can get excited about what he wants for me. And really quickly, um, I started to um, get excited um, about new things that I had never been excited about before. And I became a lot more confident in the things that I was teaching my campers and decisions that I was making for my future. So by the end of the summer, um, I definitely trust God a lot more. And I've realized that he would much rather have me walking alongside him rather than on my own. Awesome. Um, Ashley, in regards to trusting God... And you're further, as you continue on with him, um, what's your plans for this fall after camp? Yeah, so pretty soon I'm going to be moving to Vancouver Island uh, because I'm taking the Kaleo Leadership Program through Briarcrest Bible College. Awesome. Sounds good, yeah. Give them a big round of applause as they go back to their seats. Cool. Thanks a lot, you guys. All right. So we've just heard and witnessed um, how God is is furthering his kingdom at Pleasant View Bible Camp. Um, I look out and I see many faces that um, I know have contributed in so many ways. And and let let me put it this way. You listen to what's happening at camp and you hear the reports of life change and and how God is transforming lives and how and how kids are 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 giving their life to God and and they're certain they want to continue on to serve Him like Ashley just said and 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 it's just such a win win and we can't do it without campers we can't do it without staff but God definitely wants to and has to use all of us to continue his work that he's doing at camp. So from the bottom of my heart, um, I can't say thank you enough. You know who you are. You know how much you've prayed for campers, how much you've prayed for staff, um, how many times you have saw a need and, and realized that, hey, somebody has to run tuck out once a week and God's laid that on your heart, and you say, "Well, pick me. I'll I'll take I'll take my kids out, and I'll get tuck happening out at camp." Or when spring starts coming, and you realize that you're really busy with your job, but you think, "Yeah, I know God. Camp has to get going, and this is your work. And how can we? What can I do to contribute?" So there's many of you take 
evenings off and weekends off and come and clean the camp and get the water going and get haul water to the pool and and all the camps start up and and we the last couple of winters we've had we've had projects happening out at camp and and that's just been sacrificial help just everybody here that's putting the time and effort to make the dorms so amazing to redo the bathrooms again and this last winter and, and and how much that has benefited the campers, but it's also made a big difference for Mr. and Mrs. Lloyd when they drive into Pleasant View Bible Camp. Um, it often is amazing to me how these these parents will drive in and they'll come past the sign to bring their kids into camp, and it said it says Pleasant View Bible Camp on it. And we're not ashamed to tell the world that we're a Bible camp. We're not ashamed to put it on the website and on our, our camp website or the church website of what we, who we represent and that God is our Lord. But these, can't, these kids are coming into a camp to be introduced to Jesus Christ. And the parents are saying, this is cool. I'll, I'll, I'm good with my kids coming to camp. And it just, it's just mind-boggling sometimes to me that those same parents would not walk into this auditorium but they're okay with dropping the kids off at camp so it's a step towards those parents and those families and there are families in here that whose kids have went to camp and they are sitting in these pews as a result and so my prayer is that many many more of these families that come from Lloydminster and area that come to Pleasant View that God can use us to further his kingdom. So us meaning, again, not the staff. They're the tangible ones. We see them. They get the front. They get to see exactly what's going on and, and what, what the kids are going through, and, and they're, they're leading these kids to the Lord. But as a result of so many of you sitting in the back pews, in the pews, and in the first service, it's, it's so vital that we continue as a church family to serve God at Pleasant View Bible Camp. And we'll just continue to give him all the praise and glory for what he's been doing. Hey, it's just ex and another exciting thing that's happening is camp isn't quite over yet. We have this coming Saturday, we have a backyard barbecue. So the backyard barbecue, for those that don't know, is for everybody here and your families and all your children, and all your relatives, and all your neighbors, and for all the campers, we phoned, we phoned all the campers' families personally to invite them to the backyard barbecue, and so we're going to have a fun day and an amazing day of connecting with Lloyd Minster and area on this coming Saturday, so don't miss out. We need your help. Tori's going to be in the back in the foyer at the table to, for you guys to sign up. So we need your help to come out Saturday afternoon to help volunteer to, to man a booth or to make cotton candy or to do something that we need your help with. She'll be back there if you can help out. But if there's, if there's nothing that maybe our, all the positions are filled already and, and we don't need any more physical help as a greeter or for something at camp or for something for the Brad Bar for the camp, reunion or backyard barbecue, then please, 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 church family, take this as a unique and amazing opportunity to come, A, to have good food. We're going to have a barbecue. Can't go wrong with that, right? And, but have it as a, give it a, give yourself an opportunity to connect with community. Like I say, Mr. and Mrs. Lloyd, they definitely, they don't always walk into and come into the church. Most don't. But they'll come to camp, and they'll come to the backyard barbecue. Last year, we had 800 to 1,000-ish people, and it was phenomenal. And, and we're going to be hitting about the same numbers this year again, but we need everybody here to love on, first, to love on the community that comes out. Make sense? We can do that? All right. It's only three hours. It's only three hours. Two for some of us. All right. The other thing is, oh, um, in closing, next Sunday is our 
big kickoff. All right? So we're going to have our fall kickoff next Sunday happening right here. And so invite those same friends and neighbors that you, br- that you invited to the barbecue. Invite them to come and join us here for our big kickoff next Sunday here at First Baptist. Awesome. Have a great week, and we'll see you guys Saturday.